Good morning guys and welcome to the update for week one of our weight loss journey. So far, as you probably noticed from the video's title, I was down about nine pounds. Just checking the numbers really quick. So I started at 323 pounds. I am now 314 and it has been going really well. I feel pretty awesome. Workout's been great. And I'm gonna go over all that stuff really fast with you now. The biggest change that I did this week, the best thing that I could have done was my fitness pal. This allowed me to do a couple different things that were super awesome. One, track my weight, which is easy. However, the other thing that allowed me to do was track my calories. It has tons of food in it that people have already put in all of the nutrients and macros and everything into the app. Burgers and, and protein powders and, and tomatoes and potatoes, everything. It's all in there. It was super cool because then I was able to track my calories exactly. So on screen now will be a overview of the calories and macros for this week. You can kind of see how I started a lot higher in calories and I've begun to uh, bring them down, but I've tried to maintain a fairly healthy amount of protein, fat and carbohydrates. You can see that it's varied a little bit, but I think I am getting that a little bit more under control. What's super awesome is this app shows you exactly what you're eating, how much of it you're eating, and whether you need to stop for the day or whether you need to actually catch up a little bit, because I've been in both. Uh, there's been a couple days where the app has literally told me, you can't finish the day with this amount of calories. You need to eat a little bit more. If you look at the calories, I am just right around 2K. 2000 calories. What I did was I set my goal at 16 in this app and then it subtracts workout from it. So it, it monitors your motion activity. So if you keep your phone with you when you work out and listen to music like I do, it will constantly be, and it will then subtract it out of your calories, which gives you a little bit more to eat. I would be careful. I don't think it's quite right. Like it ends up saying, yeah, you can eat like 3,000 calories because you went for a two mile run and lifted and did jump rope and stuff. And I'm not, I'm, I wouldn't be losing weight if that were the case. I know this isn't fun, but if you're gonna lose weight, you're gonna probably have to be hungry. There's just not much way around it. You wanna not make yourself so hungry that it drives you nuts. You're gonna have to be hungry for a while. And it just kind of is what it is. All the diets that say you can lose weight without being hungry, I think that's all BS. The times that I've lost weight, the people that I've talked to, there's no way around it. You're gonna have to be a little bit hungry, but that's okay. It makes you feel better. I'm, I feel so much better. So I did two things from the beginning. C25K, which is a running app, which starts you off pretty slow. It, in essence, it stands for couch to 5K. You end up running 60 seconds, walking a minute and a half, and you do that like five or six times until you reach 20 minutes, and then you walk for five minutes at the beginning, walk for five minutes at the end. So I was already, I, like I'm already in, oh, not okay shape. I'm in, <laughs> I'm in shape enough that that's not that hard, so I even went on to the next level. You're supposed to do this three times a week. I did it six, including um, another workout called five by five, which I love. Um, my girlfriend doesn't like super a lot. I wonder if it's not as good for girls. Maybe they like more variety, but for me, I love it because very fast um, increase in strength. You get good at squats and it builds up core muscles really fast. You can also see my um, workouts on screen for the five uh, by five workouts. So between the diet, which has been going really well, I keep track of it really well. I try to eat healthy stuff and keep the calories low. Caching the Excel sheet of my exact foods so that you can literally look at exactly what I'm doing. A lot, I did a lot of protein powder in the morning and for lunch, and then I'd eat something at dinner and some other flavors and stuff so that I can not be drinking just double chocolate 
whatever the heck it is, because that gets old. I figure if I do between three and five pounds a week, I'd be pretty happy. My blood, blood, blah, 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 blood pressure and my blood pressure, which is another metric that I'm using to track my uh, progress because it's actually the one that my doctor was like, you gotta change this, otherwise you're going on statins. And I tried statins and it gave me a cough, so I stopped taking statins, which was bad. I hope my doctor is not watching this. My blood pressure started at 169 over 99. I am now 161 over 99. I'm measuring those every Sunday night as we go. Yeah, so that was this week. That was week one of a real serious week of getting back in shape and fixing this. So that felt good. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm gonna keep doing this because I feel better and I want you guys to be inspired to do something like this. If you guys start a channel like this, you tell me and I will come over and subscribe and watch you guys because this is a great way of fixing your health. Making YouTube the catalyst for making yourself better is awesome and I am loving it. I think this is great. You can do it. You can do it. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, I'm Jonah from Quest for Awesome. Stay beautiful people and adventure out. Is I found this app called Stop, stop the squeaking. One more squeak. Oh my, oh, oh my, oh my goodness. Okay, I'll just be a little bit closer.